there's two things I've come to learn about Baron Corbin. He doesn't like people, and he loves to cause chaos. Some of the best observations you've ever made, Byron Saxton. Thanks, Corey. The Lone Wolf is a man who doesn't seem to play well with others because he says others always have a problem with losing. Accomplished so much in his young career. Won the Money in the Bank ladder match. Former Golden Gloves boxing champion, NFL offensive lineman turned champion in WWE. a real force Drew McIntyre a revamped attitude a revamped appearance McIntyre's made it his mission to eliminate all the complacency in WWE. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one. Handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that he became complacent. Felt like he didn't have to work hard to get to the top. When he got fired, he went away. He got a new attitude. And now he's back bigger and badder than ever. With a vengeance. Yeah, this new attitude from Drew McIntyre dictates he will take whatever he wants. McIntyre laser focused. Now time for a huge six-man tag team match. And I can't think of any competitors I'd rather see go at it right now than these six superstars. This one's going to be great.
Bonded by friendship, bonded by the need to succeed, bonded by the desire to be great. I don't think I'm overstepping my bounds, Byron, when I say Rollins, Ambrose, and Reigns have already achieved greatness in WWE. You are absolutely right, Corey. is a former Golden Gloves boxing champion. If the low wolf connects with the right hand, you can forget about it. Yeah, lights out in short order. Guys, it'll be interesting to see if these two teams of three can really coexist. Wow. When you have that many egos on the same team, sometimes things don't go quite as planned. General Manager Kurt Angle in May of 2017, the WWE Universe saw a dream team come together when the Hardy Boys joined forces with the lunatic fringe Dean Ambrose. The exciting trio took on Sheamus, Cesaro, and The Miz. Truth be told, both Miz and Ambrose blended in with their impromptu tag team partners pretty well. Byron, we always make a point to talk about continuity amongst team members. In the six-man match, Dean Ambrose teamed with the Hardys against Sheamus Cesaro and The Miz. Both teams worked very well together. That surprised me since this was the first time they teamed together. But there was something that night about the lunacy of Dean Ambrose fitting perfectly with the Daredevil Hardy Boys. I've got to say, I had goosebumps for a week after the Hardy Boys returned to WWE at 2017's WrestleMania. During that six-man on Raw, Team Extreme formed an effective trio with that lunatic Dean Ambrose. After a twist of fate from Matt Hardy, Jeff crushed The Miz with a swanton bomb, and that was all she wrote. Well, it sounds like a question with no good answer to it, Corey, but I've got to ask, how do you beat somebody as dominant as Lashley? You got to get help. Just go back and look at the few times Lashley's lost almost every single time it took outside interference to get the job done. Corey brings up a good point. Outside interference has been the common denominator in many of Lashley's losses, dating back to Finley and playing the help of Hornswoggle to defeat Lashley for the United States Championship. And similarly, Mr. McMahon used help from multiple allies to steal Lashley's ECW title. Fortunately, the dominator now has a manager. Oh, and he makes the tag. That was a game changer right there, Michael. What a clothesline! Ouch! Drew McIntyre faltering some. 
I think it's safe to say that the action so far in this six-man tag team match is exactly what we expected. I know it's somewhat early still, but this could be a pivotal point in this match, guys. Let's see how he reacts here. That's how you wear down your opponent. If you recall, guys, when Drew McIntyre first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the Chosen One. And while it may have been premature back then, I'd say McIntyre is more than living up to it nowadays. Handle finds its target. As Byron alluded to, Drew McIntyre's initial run in WWE had ups and downs, but ever since his return in 2017, I'd say McIntyre's among the most dominant superstars on the roster. As would the people he's defeated since returning. And let's look at some of these names called Bobby Roode, Andrade Cien Alma, Seth Rollins. Those are some pretty big names, if you ask me. Harsh impact. Not sure how long this will last, but he's fired up right now. Baron Corbin looking a little shaken here. And you know all three of the superstars he's up against won't back down at any point during this match. You know, there's an art to being a successful tag team competitor. And right now, he resembles more of a finger painter. Yeah, but if you count him out now, guys, you'd be making a Jeez. very big mistake. Mark my words. He's looking banged up. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. When this guy's on, look out. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Oh, boy, he is rolling. There are instances when a six-man tag match will feature a team. There it is. The tag has been made. Oh, he needed that in the worst way, Michael. This could be it. Is he done? Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Call me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. Corey, earlier you talked about what needs to happen when members of a six-man team have differences or had differences in the past. If the team can't find a way to get on the same page, they will not last very long. Someone on the team has to step up and make sure for at least that match, everyone on the team can work together. That's easier said than done. Just because superstars might be favorites of the WWE Universe or have a common enemy, that doesn't mean they'll get along. It also doesn't mean that any past issues will magically go away. In this business, people have long memories, so if someone sees an issue on their team, they need to resolve it right away. Something that is always important in a six-man match is having the ability to perform double-team moves. One of the things that successful six-man teams try and execute are double-team moves and then have the third team member perform a signature or finishing maneuver to deliver maximum impact to an opponent. He's one of those guys that gets going and it's hard to stop him. Teamwork is always paramount in a six-man tag match. Superstars want to be able to have a level of teamwork where two members of the trio perform a double team move, and the third member follows that up with a move so their opponent is really down for the count. The key is to deliver the maximum amount of punishment to your opponent in the least amount of time. You have until the referee's count of five. It's not like you have all day in the ring, but if your team of three can deliver that type of offense, your trio will be in good shape. In 2016, the New Day found themselves in the middle of a sick and twisted rivalry with the Wyatt family. Things escalated to the point where Bray Wyatt invited the New Day to do battle at the Wyatt family compound. New Day accepted, but what followed was something no one expected or will ever be able to forget. Sharp knee. He's making a statement here with this attack. Knee drop. Jeez. 
Up and Corey, we've talked about six-man tag matches, and earlier you talked about one that caught the attention of the entire sports entertainment world. The New Day fought for survival amongst the darkness of the Wyatt family compound in a battle where pickaxes and cinder blocks were used as weapons and automobiles were used as battering rams. The New Day versus the Wyatts at the Wyatt family compound was not your traditional six-man tag match. But it showed what can happen when issues between factions can't be resolved through a sanctioned WWE match. I'll tell you what, none of the men who fought in that conflict. This is it. I say Drew McIntyre's career is a story of two completely different chapters. McIntyre himself would tell you his first chapter didn't quite go as planned. But boy, chapter two is a whole nother story. Beautiful technique. I knew it was only a matter of time. Seth Rollins is rolling now. Shoulders on the back. What a six-man tag match. Now let's take a look back at these guys in action. There's no doubt about it. That's a big pinfall win right there. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. Well, that was indeed a great match.